Hello and welcome back to Tingwinger 5. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to replace your laptop's DVD drive with a Blu-ray drive. So I bought a new laptop recently, this one came with a DVD drive pre-installed and I want it to play Blu-rays, so we're going to replace the drive on the right hand side. To do this, you first need to remove usually one screw and it's usually the screw that's out of line with all the other ones. Notice there was two screws in the line there and a screw out on its own and that screw is out on its own because it's actually locking in the DVD drive right here. Now it takes a little bit of coaxing but it comes out, it keeps catching on the case and we can take it up and look up the model number is what we need to do. So we need to understand the thickness of this drive as not all drives are equal. I do have this one here which is going to fit inside my laptop because I looked up what the DVD drive is and I made sure it's the same thickness. In my case my laptop takes 9.5mm there is also 12.7 available and what we need to do is take off this front plate because if you notice the front plate is actually very different on the new drive than the old drive and if I just put it in like that it actually does not look very good at all. So it's actually quite easy to do, it takes a little bit of time so I just need to release the drive and then turn it over to the other side. Now to release the drive I put a paper clip in and there's a little hole on the DVD drive that allows you to do that. Same on the Blu-ray drive. Now there's three clips you need to undo, one on the right, one in the middle and one on the left. And we're going to do exactly the same to the one I got from the laptop, but actually I just pulled it slightly and it fell off. So that was easy. What wasn't easy is getting it off the Blu-ray drive, so the brand new Blu-ray drive, uh, it took a little bit of coaxing. I used a screwdriver flat blade, but I recommend you guys use some plastic tools to avoid damaging it in case you have to put it back in. It took a little bit of coaxing, but eventually it popped off. At this point there is only a couple things left to do, so we need to put the case back on the front, just make sure you line up the clips in the right order, and press down, and make sure it's very secure otherwise it's going to fall off. And now we're almost ready, but we notice on the back there's still a difference. With this drive it actually comes with a small bracket that attaches to the laptop. So I'm going to close this up, I'm probably never going to use this DVD drive again. But what we can do is take the bracket off the back, and we need to attach it to the new one. And this will be the litmus test of if you bought the right drive. Just make sure you look up the model number of your old drive before you buy your new one. I'll put in the description what I used, but your laptop might be different than mine. So you just put the one screw in on the back, slide it back into the laptop, like so, put the screw back in to secure it. You don't need to install any more drivers, all you need to do is attach it to the laptop itself. So here it is running, we have the new BDRE drive installed in the laptop. Thank you for watching everybody and make sure you follow me on the relevant social media.